After a freezing run, finally made it to the mouth of Lake Kutharaba, Kutharaba, however you want to say it, second lake. I had to leave really, really early to make it here on sunrise. All I'm going to do now is just sound up a little bit, see if I can spot anything and um, yeah, we'll get to it from there. So all I think I'm going to do is I think I'm just going to blind cast over this rubble patch that's up here. The theory is on the lowering tide, the bait gets flushed out of the really big lake and the fish just wait here. At least that's what I've been told. I'm just going to start out with this little paddle tail because that's what I want. I don't know if I'm remotely in the right spot. Yeah, that's a really good fish. I don't want to call it early, but that feels like a jack. It is a jack. I'm so stoked with him. Thank you guys so much for watching. That's really the main bit of the video over. I had a really tough week of fishing. Um, I really didn't catch that many fish. I caught some pretty good species, but no size or, or quantity. Um, I didn't really record much on the GoPro to be honest, but if you want to stick around for some other misses and hits and frustration, then feel free to do so, but otherwise that's really it. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Alright, my plan for the 50 minutes that I have left before I have to go home is that it's the bottom of the run out, so I've just come into the pan area and I've just got side scan up <laughs> and I'm looking for that. Oh, hang on, I'm just gonna fish that real quick. But yeah, basically bottom of the run out. I'm just coming here looking for trebs, exactly like that. Um, so yeah, you just spot them, pop up. Oh shit, you don't ruin your electric motor, you do it nice and gently. Look out to the right. Spin yourself around. And you pray that they're not the schools of mullet that you realize you've been casting out for two days.
Come on, fish. gonna have to take my word for it those were literally two out of a hundred i dropped a truly painful number of fish that week also i got snipped by fish all the way up river like 10 or well, 10's an exaggeration maybe like four times it was ridiculous but anyway it was really good to get out on the water after a really busy um term of school so yeah anyway please like subscribe do all that really good stuff helps me out i'm sure you guys are well aware of that Anyway, as I said last time, I will see you guys in the next video and I really hope you enjoy. See ya.